Hi, I'm Monica and welcome to my reading vlog for Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is my second time reading this book and I'm really excited to get back into the world of Lucretia. And I recently reread Six of Crows and I did upload a reading vlog for that one and I'll link that up above and in the description box below for you. So we're right back into the world of Ravka and we're following a group of six teenagers who have very tragic paths and very specialized abilities. After the events of book one, the heist that our crew did did not turn out as they thought it would and we're following the fallout from that in this one. With a new powerful drug on the streets of Ketterdam, we have many enemies and powerful forces going after Kaz and the rest of the crew. From that, I'm expecting a lot more fun group dynamics as well as great action scenes, clever schemes, and I think I will end up crying in this one. I first read Crooked Kingdom when it first released back in 2016, I think. It's been quite a number of years since I first read it, so I'm really excited to see how I react to it. And this vlog will have spoilers, so let's just get right to the vlog portion. Alright, for my first check-in, I am 20% of the way through and around page 100 of Crooked Kingdom. So far, this book definitely takes on a darker tone than Six of Crows. After the fallout with the heist, we do see there's an air of desperation to get an edge back from Van Eck. And with the current state of our characters, we have Kaz trying to get an edge back, no matter the cost to him. Nina, she is struggling with her addiction to Jitter Param. Wylan is trying to navigate his way in this gang. Matthias is struggling with his guilt over the guy who took his place in the ice court or like the jail and he's still very much in love with Nina. Jesper is meeting up with his father and trying to figure out how to get money to help his dad out. We do see where Inej is at the moment and she's very resilient about figuring out how to escape her prison. But with Inej, she really does realize and still from book one, she still thinks that Kaz only views her as an investment. But to be honest, it's not her fault because that's the only thing that Kaz gives out to her. So my heart breaks for Inej in those instances where she's like, I'm only good because of my skills and Kaz only wants me alive because I am the wraith. Because with Inej, she really is a key figure to get information and infiltrate into really hard places so she really is a key figure in the drags. I think it was a little bit funny when Jesper meets up with his father with Wayland because it just ends up in a gunfight and then his dad is like what is going on here and Jesper is like it's just part of the life here <laughs> but I'm happy to see that there is presence of at least one alive parent in a YA fantasy book. And so far, I'm still very much enjoying Crooked Kingdom and I'm excited to see what happens next. So I'm checking in at around a 60% point of this book. I am on chapter 23 and around page 300. And by this point, we have saved Nej from Van Eck and everyone's happy that she's back. And I really like the nice hints here and there with the slow buildup of the relationships in the group as well as with the friendships, but mainly focusing on the romances, especially between Wyland and Jesper, Kaz and Inej, Matthias and Nina. But really for Kaz and Inej, they're really in a weird situationship, like there's something there but no one's saying anything, <laughs> and it really makes a good interaction between them. While talking about Wyland, we dive in deeper with his insecurities that he got from his father and calling him useless because he's dyslexic and he doesn't know how to read. But I really like how Wyland is finding his place within the dregs and growing more within the dregs. As for Matthias and Nina, Matthias is still learning that not all Grisha are evil and that he wishes more for his life and their lives as a whole and he also wants to change the minds of people about like the opinions of Grisha. Nina is grappling with new strange powers and aside from all that, the writing is still very captivating and the action is still heart pounding and I can't wait to see how this book ends off. And now I finished off the book with Crooked Kingdom with one of the scenes I was like laughing out loud because Jesper accidentally kissed the wrong cute way and he meant to kiss Wyland but with them looking identical 
he couldn't really spot the difference and I, I found that really funny. And I also really love the appearance of some creature characters with Nikolai, Zoya, and Jenya. And it's always nice to have fun cameos in other book series, especially when it's part of a contained universe. That reminds me that I really do need to read the King of Scars duology ASAP. In this last portion of the book, we do get that beloved Kaz and Inesh bathroom scene. I just love these two so much. It really is a slow burn between these two and it's done so well. Especially with Kaz slowly getting his guard down and him realizing that the dregs are more so family than just a group of friends when he accidentally calls Jesper by his brother's name. So I'm really liking that Kaz is showing that he does care and he slips up sometimes. Also with Jesper's father, Colm, he's a very fun addition to this book and it's really nice to see that addition of a parent and appearance of a parent in a YA fantasy series. And I really love how Wyland is finding his place within the crew, especially with like the final big action sequence at the end of the book. It really wrapped up everything nicely at the auction with that long-term con that they're playing against Van Eck and the rest of the enemies. The payoff and the build-up was very well done and I was really engrossed while reading those last couple of scenes. I did end up tearing up a bit at someone's death that we do get at the end of the book and it was really really sad. Anyways, right on to my final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for Crooked Kingdom, as this was a reread, I still think my rating will remain the same at 5 out of 5 stars and it was really nice to get back into the world of the dregs and Ketterdam. It's always wonderful to see the crows back together again and remind myself of what their backstories were and how that continues to impact them throughout their behaviors and actions. The story itself felt very familiar and the writing does hold out. This book is truly really great on the found family trope with a very strong friendships and camaraderie amongst our group that we see to continue building their relationships and friendships from book one. The setting of Ketterdam really shows how our characters had to grow very quickly and learn certain skills in order to survive in this harsh crime island. And it really shows their resilience, especially through their cons and schemes. I do feel like sometimes appearances of parents in YA fantasy books are very rare and it was really nice to see a parent in this book have a very active role. As well at the end, we do see some other people. But it's very nice to be reminded of those dynamics of a parent and that all of these characters that we are following are still teenagers and essentially kids. Overall, the ending of this duology really wraps up everything nicely and we see all of our characters just moving on with their lives. But there's still an opening for potential book 3 and I think Lee Bardugo is considering to write a book 3 for The Crows. Basically, I loved it. I really do highly recommend this YA duology heist with these ragtag group of friends that come together and ultimately they become a family. And I'm gonna end off this vlog here and I wanted to say thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching my thoughts and reactions to Crooked Kingdom. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on this Six of Crows duology and specifically on the characters or settings or whatever that you want to comment about. And with all that being said, I do want to say don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!